Okay, so we've set up our test area here, okay, that we want that you can see on the map. We can pull up the map and actually zoom in. You can see the test area that we've actually set up, and we know our loop is right in here that we've overlapped. Our loop actually runs out, and it, it covers this area, right? So but what we need to do now is we need to actually teach it actually how to get out of the loop into the um, into the zone that we created and into Scott test. So to do that now, we're going to create a path. And, um, and usually I name it things like path to uh, whatever. So we'll name this path to zone. And then is it connected to the wired parcel is an important step because we need to make sure it knows that um, this actually is going to actually start in the loop itself. And so now we're going to click on this button here and we're going to start the loop in um, um, actually, we can actually just start it there because we know that at that edge right there, because we overlapped in the loop is where it should start. So we want to put our first point inside the overlap and then we want to go outside the overlap and then really just for good measure, put another one there. And then we drop it. Now we have our path out. So before what we would have done is we would have created GPS points in order to, so it knows where to come to. But because we can create multiple zones outside of this area where it can work, we need to just drop our first point inside the zone and inside our work area so it can actually go out now, okay? Um, I'm gonna go back over here. Let's make sure we just check this. We've already confirmed this area, so that's fine. So I can close this off right now, close that, and then, I'm going to shoot all this to the robot at this point in time. So make sure I pulled down first to make sure that's there. And then I pushed the changes uh, next to the robot. I'm going to close this out now. And I'm going to hit parameters and open this back up. I'm going to come back to um, this Scott test. I'm going to look at some settings here. Global parameters. Um, oh, I know what I needed to do. So that's the one thing I needed to do next was actually look at the map and I need to open up Scott test here. I need to unlock that, open it up, but don't touch any of the lines. If you touch any of those lines, you got to reset stuff. So don't touch any of those. Um, and I'm going to add a neighboring parcel. Make sure it understands that that's actually connected to the loop itself. And then I'm going to save that. Now it knows that that parcel is actually connected to the loop. I'm going to lock it back down. I didn't touch any of the lines. If I touched the lines, I had to go ver re verify. I'm going to close this out. And now I'm going to push this to the robot as well. And that's su successfully configured. Now when I close it, and when I open up the parameters back up, you'll see that it's actually connected the schema. So the schema tells it that the station is in the loop is connected to the test zone area. So when you create other things off of this, it's actually going to show this schema so you know what it's connected to.